and the election. Joining us now to discuss, let's welcome Forbes Media Chairman and Editor-in-Chief Steve Forbes. Always great to see you. Good to be here. What do you think about this trial date of May? Uh, well, there are going to be others as well, and I think it's going to remind voters what a shafting, excuse the word, uh, this whole thing is. Uh, they are after anything. They're throwing anything on the wall and make something uh, stick and to destroy the guy. Yeah. Instead, no coincidence, after the 2022 elections, Trump's polling went down. DeSantis went up. As soon as the indictment started with this crazy district attorney here in Manhattan, yeah. guess what happened? His poll numbers went up. People see this for what it is. And it's had a ton of, um, uh, it's boosted his, you know, his ability to fundraise as well, because it's rallied his base. And so he's leading right now in the GOP field. But what's particularly interesting as we kind of look at where people stand, um, Quinnipiac poll on this, 47% of Americans say they would consider a third party candidate seriously for president. Now, we do see those numbers typically trail off once the nominees are announced and it becomes a tighter race. But having said that, that's a staggeringly high number. Yes, it is. And the mood of the country is like we had back in 1976 when Jimmy Carter obscure ex-governor of Georgia rose out of nowhere. 1980, we forget Ronald Reagan was seen as an outlier. The Democrats considered him the mm -hmm. weakest candidate. He emerged, won in a landslide. Ross Perot made a strong run in 1992. The country wants a different direction, and they're going to look at very number of different candidates. That's why Robert Kennedy Jr. has emerged as a serious candidate. People are saying, do you think he could do it? Do you think he could do it? Uh, kind of Trump uh, talk you heard about Donald Trump in 2015. Mm. And after the in these debates, are starting next month with the Republicans, you're going to see a couple of what you might call Cinderella's emerge. People say, ah, I want to learn more about this person. Yeah, maybe somebody like a Tim Scott, possibly. Um, but DeSantis is already calling out Trump's, you know, sort of um, walking the line on the debate, not giving a definitive answer as, you know, whether or not he'll participate. Listen to this. We'll do well either way, but I mean, I think he, he owes it to people to participate. Nobody is entitled to be nominated. You've got to earn it. You've got to earn everything in this world. So I think you show up. I think you participate. I think you make your case. And I think you, I think you answer questions. I don't disagree with him, but I'm wondering what you think. Do you think he will show up to that first debate? Well, careful what you wish for. Uh, going back in 1980, uh, Ronald Reagan skipped a big debate in Iowa, yeah. and he got uh, badly mauled in Iowa. Then he went in New Hampshire, mauled George H.W. Uh, Bush in a debate. So Reagan was a formidable debater. So maybe Donald Trump shows up and shows, shows the people, I'm the best guy in the field. But eventually, whether he does that debate or another debate, he's going to have to do it, especially as the field narrows, when you have to raise more money, uh, get more contributions, get uh, more support in the polls. So eventually, he will be on that platform. And that's the thing. When he is on that platform, he tends to dominate it. So to a certain degree, if he doesn't show up, it's almost like giving the other candidates, you know, room to breathe, room to get their messaging out. While I have you in the last second, I just want to ask you what you think of Vivek Ramaswamy. He is kind of an emerging candidate here, very young, full of ideas, extremely energetic and hitting that campaign trail hard. What do you think? Yes, he's one of those possible Cinderella candidates. Another one to watch out for is the governor of North Dakota, Doug Burgum. Mm. And there may be others, Tim Scott, you mentioned earlier. So, yes, that's why the number of people who are going to be watching these debates is enormous. They want to get to know the field. They're going to really start to concentrate. And that's when the polls start to make a difference. Yeah. Right now, not much. But people want to get to know these people. And when they do, you're going to see some interesting results. And I'm guessing they're going to want answers and ideas on how and to... also how to move forward, Yeah, not just criticize what we have here today. This is where Ron DeSantis better take note. Right. Have something forward-looking like Ronald Reagan did in 1980, which is how he dominated the field when he was the oldest candidate and people thought, oh, he's over the hill. Came with a lot of fresh ideas and won. Yeah, no, that's a great point. It's, it's, it's looking forward, saying, here's where we are. Here's how I'm going to fix it, whoever that person is. Great right. to see you as always, Steve. Good to see Thank you, Jackie. You so Thank you.